Today we're driving the Lamborghini Huracan STO, or the Super Trofeo Omalagata. This thing is absolutely insane. Everything's in Italian, there's carbon fiber everywhere. I absolutely love it. Let's walk you around this Huracan STO. We'll take it for a drive. We'll talk about what it's been like to live with this week. I've been very, very excited to drive this. Uh, not too long ago, we got a stint in the Lamborghini Huracan Technica, and it was amazing, a very similar car to this, but without all the crazy aerodynamic bits. Uh, this STO is just next level. Starting price on this is $334,000. As tested, this is 425 grand. 5.2 liter V10, 631 horsepower, 417 pound-feet of torque, revs to the moon. We have a seven-speed dual clutch, carbon ceramic brakes, four-wheel steering. And of course, because it's an STO, the lightweight track-focused version, it's a rear-wheel drive. It has a roof scoop. 20-inch wheels, 245s up front, 305s in the rear. Look at the STO in the back here. <laughs> Adjustable carbon fiber spoiler. This is the medium setting. This is painted in Arancho Borealis. What a color. Uh, no frunk, no trunk. There's nowhere to put anything in this car. These seats, though, are excellent. All manual adjustable. You can change your backrest. Tilt forward, tilt back, and of course, fore and aft. Carbon fiber floor mats. Yeah. Alcantara on the wheel, paddle shifters. <laughs> there are so many little details we'll do a bit more of a walk around at the end of the video but let's go for a drive pull straps here for weight savings of course mirror controls lock unlock that's all you get in the middle you've got switches to turn off the stop start system which is necessary window controls ESC off, you've got a front nose lift. And here in the infotainment, we get Apple CarPlay, which we can connect right here. There we go, easy. Phone slots in beautifully right there. Here's your parking brake, reverse, <laughs> stop, start. Change your drive modes right here between STO, Trofeo, and Pioggia, which is the wet surface drive mode. Yep. Lots of temperatures, lots of information. Over to the left, we've got settings for our gauge cluster brightness, fog lights, auto headlamp control. We do get a reverse camera, which is very useful because you can't see anything out of the back of this. And that shows up right here in the center of the gauge cluster. Pull the right paddle to put it into first, and we're off. Super light steering. Turn signals are on the steering wheel because, of course, paddles. And the big surprise here, this STO is incredibly comfortable on the road. Suspension is soft, supple, and STO mode. In Trofeo, it stiffens up quite a bit and everything gets a little bit hardcore. But you put it in automatic, it changes into seventh gear at 40 miles an hour and just idles along. But that's not how you drive this car. You're pretty much always in Trofeo mode, manual. Five grand. 
this engine absolutely screams. specifically for the Huracan STO. Speedometer is a little bit Italian in here. It's a bit optimistic. We're in Trofeo mode now. ESC relaxes a little bit. The suspension stiffens up quite a bit. Throttle turns into a bit of an on-off switch. This is track mode. Take off all the stickers, all the brands. 
that's kind of what this STO looks like in my opinion. much emotion, so much drama here. The Huracan still embodies what is essential to the supercar recipe. When other manufacturers have gone to turbocharging, electrification, or a combination of the both, this really, really stirs the senses. And I'll be sad to see it go someday, but gosh, Lamborghini just has an almost perfect formula here. The STO is probably overkill for most Oricon buyers, but overkill is kind of what supercar ownership is about. I love this thing. I absolutely love this thing. It's incredible. all the way to the floor, mash the gas, and you're off. ignore the sound here too. I think the just song this V10 sings is absolutely perfect. It's low and deep and harmonious. It just makes all the right noises. And the big surprise here is just how livable this STO is. It's so comfortable. We have terrible roads here in Michigan. They're so rough, they're so bumpy. And aside from the occasional pothole on these very thin tires, it's just so easy to drive and easy to live with and approachable at the limit. stuff like that, some more details. Basically, in this STO you have upgraded cooling for track duty, amazing carbon ceramic brakes, and of course you can get some more aggressive tires on this too, but for the street, these Bridgestone Potenza Sports are awesome. And on this cooler morning, about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 59.9 degrees Fahrenheit according to the gauge cluster, they perform really well. This S2 
STO absolutely devours gasoline. We've burned about eh, an eighth of a tank on this uh, drive so far. things down a little bit. Go back into STO mode. And listen to this just purr away. Carbon ceramics are very driver friendly at low speeds. I can't emphasize enough just how comfortable this car is. It's pretty incredible. seats are comfortable too, which is a bit of a surprise. And they're very well bolstered, very supportive. And speed ripping around entrance and exit ramps, they did great. And we also had the same seats in the Huracan Technica a couple eh, last year actually. And on track, that was insane, just amazing. Mr. Squirrel, you gotta make a decision. Think fast. This STO just covers ground with such ease. Aside from the fact that there's nowhere to put anything in here, <laughs> this has gotta be one of the most livable, track-focused supercars ever. We get Apple CarPlay. shifters are really interesting. They're almost sharp. There's a really kind of fine edge at the back of them, but I like it. It just kind of enhances every shift. It wakes you up. All of your senses here are alive. I can't wait to drive the Storado so I can just dip off into a dirt road. All right, one more quick peek at the outside of this STO. probably be the beginning of the end of this drive. We do get a park button, which is quite nice.
Got to be limber. I can't get over the roof scoop and the fin and the other fin and the NACA duct. It all just comes together insanely, insanely well. So much aerodynamic tuning here from these vents to the front diffuser. I went out for a drive in this last night and it heated my garage for the entire night. I woke up, it's about 55 degrees outside. My garage was 80. <laughs> Well, I think that's about all I have to say about that Huracan STO. We did not get an opportunity to take this out on track this week. Maybe someday, we'll see. But on street, it has just been an absolute pleasure. I honestly can't think of a time when I've had more fun in a street car. Alright guys, that's a drive in a Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo Amalgata. What a car. Everything's in Italian, there's nowhere to put anything, doesn't even have cruise control, has the worst stereo we've ever tested, but gosh, I think it's the best supercar I've ever driven. Absolutely incredible. I just, I, I'm gonna remember this, this weekend for a long, long time and it's gonna be hard to beat. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. It was an absolute treat.